are here with one more lesson under unit 1 which is food chemistry. So let us begin with lesson number 3 of unit 1 and the outline for today's session is deficiency problems of vitamins. So in our previous session we had discussed about vitamins, its classification and sources of vitamins. In this session we are going to look at deficiency problems of vitamins. Let us have a look about the deficiency problems of vitamins one by one. So let us begin with vitamin A which is also known as retinol. So the functions of vitamin A which we had already seen is it helps in our visionary actions, uh, in immune functions, it helps in cell growth, also in, in, in promoting the skin health for the betterment of the skin health. What are the deficiency problems associated with vitamin A? So night blindness wherein we have difficulty seeing in low light conditions. We also have something called as xerophthalmia which leads to dryness of the eyes which can lead to corneal ulcers and blindness. Immune deficiency also is another deficiency problem of vitamin A wherein there will be increased susceptibility of infections. Also, we will have, if there is a deficiency of vitamin A, we may have skin issues like dryness in the skin, roughness in the skin, etc. Let us move on to next vitamin, which is vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. So, the functions of vitamin B1 are, it helps in energy metabolism processes in our body and nerve functioning in our body. So, what are the deficiency problems with respect to vitamin B1 or thiamine. So beriberi is one um, we would say uh, a disease wherein symptoms like weakness, nerve degeneration and heart issues are seen. Beriberi has two classification under it. One is wet beriberi and the other one is dry beriberi. So wet beriberi it affects the cardiovascular system in our body which certainly leads to heart failure. Dry beriberi, it affects the nervous system causing the uh, muscle weakness and leading to paralysis. There is one more syndrome which is caused by the deficiency of vitamin B1 which, which we call it as wernick korsakoff syndrome. So, it is one of the neurological disorder which is associated with alcoholism and it is characterized by memory loss, coordination problems in our body and confusion. Let us move on to vitamin B2 which is also known as riboflavin. So, the functions associated with vitamin B2 are energy production, cellular function, metabolism of fats, drugs and steroids in our body. So, what are the deficiency problems with vitamin B2 which is riboflavin? So, it is called as arabiflavinosis is a deficiency problem that is occurred due to vitamin B2. So, the symptoms include sore throat, redness, swelling of the lining of the mouth, throat, cracks or sores of the outside of the lips and at the corners of the mouth. So, we also see uh, Symptoms like inflammation, redness of the tongue and moist scaly skin too. Let us move on to the next type of vitamin which is vitamin B3 also known as niacin. So its functions include metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, DNA repair and production, also metabolism of proteins. So what are the deficiency problems associated with this particular vitamin? One is pellagra which is characterized by 3 Ds dermatitis, diarrhea and dementia. So, of course, if it is untreated, pellagra will lead to death. Vitamin B5 in, is another vitamin which is also known as pentothenic acid, pentothenic acid. So, the deficiency problems associated with pentothenic acid, uh, they are of course rare and symptoms would include fatigue, sluggish, sluggishness, irritability, numbness, muscle cramps etc. Now let us move on to next vitamin which is B6 which is pyridoxin. The functions of vitamin B6 include protein metabolism, 
cognitive development, immune function and hemoglobin production. So, the, def the, the deficiency problems associated with this particular vitamin are anemia, neurological issues, dermatitis. So, anemia it is due to impaired hemoglobin production. Uh, neurological issues it could be seizures, it could be like uh, depression, it could be confusion. Dermatitis it is nothing but skin inflammation and sores occurring on the skin. Next, let us talk about vitamin B7, which is also known as biotin. So, functions of this biotin involve uh, metabolism of fats, carbohydrates and proteins. So, the deficiency problems involved with vitamin B, vitamin B7, which is biotin, are rare and they include the symptoms of deficiency problems of this particular vitamin include hair loss, skin rash, neurological symptoms such as depression, lethargy, hallucinations, etc. Next is vitamin B9, which is also known as folate. The functions of this folate involve DNA synthesis and repair, cell division and proper fetal development. Deficiency problems of this vitamin B9 or folate involve megaloblastic anemia, neural tube defects and elevated homocysteine in our body. Vitamin B12 which is also known as cobalamin, cobalamin. The functions of this cobalamin in our body involve nerve function, red blood cell formation. They are also involved in DNA synthesis. So, the deficiency problems of this vitamin involve pernicious anemia and neurological damage. Also, moving on to next vitamin which is vitamin C which is also known as ascorbic acid. Functions of this ascorbic acid involve, it is an antioxidant, it is involved in collagen synthesis, it is involved in several functions related to immunity, it is also involved in wound healing processes. So, deficiency of this particular vitamin C will lead to scurvy. So, the symptoms of this scurvy involve fatigue, swollen gums, joint pain, wo uh, poor wound healing and anemia also. Moving on to next vitamin which is, which is vitamin D. Functions of this vitamin D include, it is involved in calcium absorption, bone health and immune function. So, the deficiency problems which are associated with vitamin D are rickets, osteomalacia, osteoporosis. Moving on to next vitamin which is vitamin E which is also known as tocopherol. So, the functions in which the vitamin E or tocopherol is involved are it can act as antioxidant, it is involved in immune functioning of the body. It is also involved to keep our skin health better. So, the deficiency problems which are associated with vitamin E are neuromuscular issues, immune impairment and visionary problems or vision problems. Because this uh, vitamin E, if it is deficient in our body, it may lead to damage of the retina, so visionary problems also. Let us move on to the next vitamin which is vitamin K. The functions of this vitamin K involve blood clotting and bone metabolism. So, the deficiency problems which are associated with vitamin K are bleeding disorders which, uh, which involves increased risk of hemorrhage, also osteoporosis which is impaired bone health. Moving on to the reflection spot, I want you to do a little bit of homework on this. So, list out the functions and the deficiencies of the vitamins that we have discussed so far. With this, we end our lesson 3 here. Thank you so much.